Hey everybody, um, Pastor Jason just wanted to give you a couple of quick announcements um, from the church here and let you know that everything's fine and good uh, as far as I know and so we're glad that you're hanging in there. Um, I hope that you're being checked on. If you're not and you need anything, you let us know and we're good. So if you are joining in here, I'll do um, announcements first that way. We can get everybody on before we do devotion, and we'll do that here in just a minute. So you can take your Bibles, though, and turn to Psalm 130. Uh, that's where we'll be as Psalm 130, as we're going to do some devotion here in a minute, um, and just talk about what God is doing uh, through this all. But just real quickly, um, we're not going to have any uh, gathering worship services on site in the building until further notice. Um, that's what the government has asked us to do. No gatherings in a building, 10 or more, you know, six feet, all that stuff that you've heard over and over and over and over. Um, we have been trying to do all the services and things on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Zoom, etc. Uh, doing that this week on the Sunday morning message was just about crazy. Um, for me, I need a tech support here, but uh, what, I, what I'm not going to try to do is do YouTube Live and Facebook Live anymore simultaneously. And so if you are on this, obviously you do have a Facebook account, but I have sent an email this week to everybody who, if you're not, um, if you don't have a Facebook account, or if you know somebody, if you're part of the church, uh, Carly, Chuck, Robin, or the others who are watching, and you know that they are the YouTube crowd um, or people who may or may not uh, have those accounts, the Facebook accounts, let them know that what I'm going to ask is that they sign up for a free Facebook account. Just If nothing else, just so they can watch um, the services because it looks like it's going to be this way for a few more weeks. Uh, that's the, the best I can offer at this point. Now, that having been said, I know there's some people that can't do that or are not willing to do that, that's okay. Um, what I'll do is as soon as the Facebook Live is over, I will download it and upload it to YouTube so that it's there. If you want to watch it on YouTube, you can do that as well. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't do Facebook. And when a new video pops up, it'll give you a notification. I'm going to do devotion in a second. So turn to Psalm 130. Uh, Psalm 130 when we get there. But the only platform I'm going to try to use on Sunday mornings is going to be Facebook Live. Now, that having been said, we may try this week and Easter to do a parking lot church, um, a drive-in church, uh, park and praise, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we may try to do that now. We're still in the process of working out details, so I don't have those for you yet, but I will. Um, on Friday, we're gonna or Thursday night, we're gonna try some things, and then I'll get back to you as to how exactly we're gonna do it. But the plan is to have some services on Sunday where you can drive in down on the building uh, at the gym, and then hear some of us live or roll down the windows or you know whatever you feel led to do, as long as we can stay within our regulations. So anyway, um, that's kind of the plan, and so you can see it in the email that I sent out. Um, the other things that are going on right now are Robin's Children's Ministry every day is um, coming on at 4 o'clock for all the kids. Uh, and so you can go on the WHBC Children and see that. Um, Wednesday night I'll put on Facebook Live and then within an hour I'll put it back on YouTube. Um, you know, there's a Western Heights playlist. You can get all your updates and um, the sermons as well. So. Let me encourage you to check on each other. Uh, I saw a good post the other day about what pastors need from you. Um, and I've been saying this, but not not so in a in kind of in a roundabout way. But um, one of the main things I need from you is to, to help me is to check on each other, to minister to one another uh, because of who you are, because you're the church. Be the church for me. Be the pastor for me. Uh, I'm checking on as many folks as I can, but make it your goal that that you check on at least one uh, church member a day. Um, pick one, anyone. I've already checked on mine today. Uh, that you know is my out of my normal routine, and I may speak to several of you, but 
uh, find somebody that's out of your norm and then see if you can touch base with them just that day. Um, let folks know that they're loved. Um, all right, take your Bibles, turn to Psalm 130. Just let me encourage you uh, for a minute. If you didn't get all those announcements, um, I did send out my weekly email today, and you'll get most of that stuff uh, on there. Thank you for giving. Uh, con- continue to do that. Um, continue to give. Uh, continue to um, be faithful of that. You guys have been great um, up to this point, so we're we're doing what we can, and God is just blessing us through you. Uh, and keep praying for that. Keep praying for God to do that. Um, there's a lot of prayer that needs to happen. Pray for our government leaders. I just got off a a simulcast uh, with some uh, officials from not only the George Baptist Convention, but from uh, Governor Kemp's office. It was wonderful, and I can't imagine the pressure that he is under. So pray for them. Pray for your leaders, civic, uh, local, uh, and state, national governments as well. So pray for that. Okay, Psalm 130. Uh, Psalm 130. If you take your Bibles and turn there real quick. I'll read the psalm. It's a, It says, My soul waits for the Lord. Um, that's the title. Most of you that have study Bible or something like that, um, that's what it'll be. And It's a psalm of ascents where they're ascending uh, up to the hill. And so here's what it says. Psalm uh, 130, verse 1. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark my iniquities, O Lord, how or who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. In his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For the Lord there is steadfast love. And with him is plentiful redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. So um, look at verse 3 and 4. It's just where I want to focus. It was one of my verses uh, reading this morning in my daily uh, Bible study. So if you look at verse 3 and 4, there's some things I'll just point out real quick. Uh, I think that um, crises like what we're in um, cause us to reflect on our own sin. Um, as individuals, as churches, as the evangelical world, um, how have we failed? How have we looked at things? What have we done just today, recently, that we know we've failed God? And verse 3, it says, If you, O Lord, should mark my iniquity. So the psalmist is meaning, you know, if you counted my sins. If you wrote them down in a book and counted my sins, uh, who could stand? That there are none of us in this church. There's none of us that are singing. They're, they're walking up the hill toward Jerusalem for worship. And he's looking around and he's saying, nobody here could stand before you if you kept a book with our iniquities and our sins. Um, and so there will be forgiveness, though, is what he says in verse 4. With you there is forgiveness that you may be feared. Now, those two things kind of sound strange and it may look strange if you're reading your Bible along with me. But the idea for this song is that there is forgiveness from the Lord um, for the iniquities that he would keep. And so that's why the psalmist says, if you were to write down all the iniquities, um, nobody could stand, but there is forgiveness for you. I think this is a time where we dwell on forgiveness. We're coming up to Easter time. Uh, the cross, the resurrection, the forgiveness of God is secured. Our justification is secured by the resurrection of Jesus. Um, and we can enjoy forgiveness. Uh, one of my new favorite songs is called Holy Water. And it's a, a song about the forgiveness of God and how it tastes and how it feels and how it's supposed to make us appreciate the forgiveness of God. And we do that when we when we feel the depth and the and the hurt and the breadth of our sin. And when we do that, the forgiveness of God does feel like holy water. It tastes sweet, it feels great, it it is the water for our soul. And this verse in the psalmist when he says, With you there is forgiveness. Um, enjoy the forgiveness. Be amazed at the forgiveness. Realize that 
if he counted your ways, you couldn't stand. However, he doesn't. Praise the Lord. Um, with him, there is forgiveness. So, notice it says that you may be feared. You may be feared. What's it mean there? It means that you may be worshipped. That word fear in the sense that it's used in that part of scripture in the Hebrew, it means to be worshipped. And so what the psalmist says there is there is forgiveness in you for all these sins that you would have counted, who we could not stand before yet. You forgave us so that we could worship you. The goodness of God, Romans says, drives us to repentance. And he has forgiven us. He's been so good to us. We've been forgiven and therefore, we can rejoice and we can worship in him for who he is, for what he has done. And so just let me encourage you with that today. Um, focus on forgiveness. Uh, rejoice in your forgiveness, not on your situation. Uh, know that your sins are there. Know that uh, they are complicated and enormous and they separate you. But know that forgiveness is great and you can worship Jesus Christ for it if you have a relationship with him. And so take a minute today. Just have some personal worship time. Be encouraged. There's forgiveness with him. Ask him for it. Enjoy it. Worship him with it. I hope that encouraged you today. Um, take that with you. Remember these announcements. Uh, if you have any needs yet, call me, call the church, text me. Uh, Steve, your deacon, your neighbor, all these people who are watching, Miss Annette, Sherry, Elaine, Stephanie, Rob, and all these folks, Thank you guys for joining, and there's been, you know, a dozen or so just individuals, so there may be 25 joining just for a devotion announcement. Thank you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow night as we resume virtual Wednesday night study. Thank you guys. See you then.